When the Dallas Mavericks acquired Dante Exum, the 28-year-old who was the former number five overall pick in the 2014 NBA draft, they were looking for somebody that could provide veteran leadership off the bench and help Dallas get over the hump and become a true contender in the West. But just about nearly halfway through the 2024 season, it looks like Dante Exum is cementing himself as a starter in a key piece of this Dallas Fabrics team, making for one of the greatest comeback stories that we've seen in the NBA in a very long time. Now for those that don't remember, when the Utah Jazz used the fifth overall pick on Dante Exum in 2014, Exum was actually 17 years of age at the time. He turned 18 shortly after the draft, where he was really expected to leave this Utah Jazz franchise and be the face of it. He was fast, he was explosive, he was big, he had all the tools that people thought were needed to be really a star in this league. But whether it was injuries or whatever the case was, in Exum's first few seasons in the league, by his fifth year, he started to look to the European circuit for his career. Many people at that point wrote him off, said he was a bust, and that his career in the NBA was really curtain. But this summer when the Dallas Mavericks sighed Exum, he was expected to come off of the bench. But around 10 games into the season, Dallas had enough injuries to where Jason Kidd gave Gante Exum a chance in the starting lineup. And since then, in Exum's Kidd starts, He's put up over 15 a game, over four rebounds a game, over four assists a game, and he's now given Jason Kidd no choice but to consider him in the starting five. But what he's done is put himself as a starter and now we'll probably keep him as a starter. Uh, as if, if we're healthy to tomorrow, he, he's gonna start with uh, Kai and, um, and Luca. So um, when you have three ball hands, you, I think we figured that philo you know, philosophy out. That ingredient of having three playmakers out there makes the game easier for Kyle and uh, Luca, and it puts a lot of pressure on the defense. And so uh, to have that some out there, it, it helps. We know Jason Kidd wants to push the tempo this year for Dallas. So as Dante Exum, this is something he could do. He's able to get the ball and go. He's making the right plays. He's finding the open guys. That's one of his bigger strengths. So quite simply, it looks like Exum fits with what this Mass team is looking for. And while when Exum was drafted, before he even played an NBA game, he had a deal with Adidas, he was in Foot Locker commercials, he was being prepared to guys like Trace McGrady or Penny Hardaway and things like that. Exum was even said on record that he wanted to be thrown into the deep end before he even played a game, that's what he said. And it looks like his story has been nothing but that. And Exum is on record saying he wouldn't change it for anything. It's been quite the journey. The hunger of missing a lot of games has driven me to make sure I stay on the court. And that certainly is showing in the small opportunities that he's got with Dallas, he's been able to run with it. And this is always the fun part about the NBA because it's so easy for these guys to get written off at such a young age because the expectation is set so high by players like LeBron James who just come into the league and are dominant from the start. So people basically wrote Exum off as a bust, but now it's looking like he has a pretty big role in the NBA and he's only 28. They say that your true prime in the NBA is when you're 27 to 32. So it looks like although Dante Exum may have had a little detour in his journey, he may be somewhere now where he could actually unlock his true potential as opposed to when you come into the league as a 17, 18 year old and they're comparing you to all these big names. It can get to your head and things like that. Now it seems like his goal is very simple and how he can help this team and he's doing it as opposed to earlier in his career when he basically had the weight of the world on his shoulders. And that showed his first season in the league. He played all 82 regular season games 
but he averaged only five points a game and shot 35% from the field. He showed a lot on the defensive end, and people still thought the future was bright for him, but it was really after his rookie season that things turned really bad because it was injuries that really crippled his growth. Over the next five years after his rookie season, there were a lot of injuries to Exum. In 2015, he tore his ACL in August. That was his season and big injury. And then in 2017, he needed surgery on his shoulder, which is never good for somebody who's around 20 years old. And then in 2018, it was the ankles. In 2019, he tore his peculiar tendon. So Exum has had a lot of injuries throughout his career. After playing 148 games in his first two seasons, he only appeared in 97 over the next five years. So it was really one of those cases of injuries for Exum in his first five or six years in the league. And him taking that route overseas after that, that, it seems like things really have slowed down for him and he's been able to find a role now. As mentioned before, Exum shot around 35% from the field his rookie season, but in his 63 games, in the Euro League, he shot 56.8% from the field, nearly 42% from deep, and 85% from the line. Exum has spoke about how things such as his confidence, leaning into some leadership, and just awareness on the court has been what's improved and what he's worked on while playing overseas. It's known that playing in the Euro League and overseas, they don't really care about your rankings at a high school, at a college, what NBA scouts think of you if you have an Adidas deal, if you're in this commercial, that commercial. They don't really care in those leagues. You have to show up and play basketball the right way. So that's why that whole experience for Dante Exum maybe is what made him now into this player that is just able to come into NBA games and make an impact in a multitude of ways, whether it's just pushing the ball, making the right passes, finishing, being a scorer, he's putting up 50 a game over four and four and rebounds and assists. So he's basically playing an all around game. And it's largely to credit playing overseas. A lot of guys in the league have done that. PJ Tucker is somebody who will talk about how his NBA career would have never been as successful as it was if he didn't go overseas for a few years because what it really did for him wasn't humbled him. Pat Beverly will say the same thing. These guys, they go overseas and they learn how to play the game the right way. A lot of the way the American players are coming up right now, it's a lot of dribble, dribble, tweeting has he this and that, Adidas commercial before you're 18, $200 million contract before you're 20, this and that. So it's easy for a lot of players to lose sight of what's right in front of them, which is playing basketball the right way. And it's nice to see Dante Exum, who has achieved that at just the age of 28, although it may feel like he's 38, he's just 28 so he has a lot of good years ahead of him and most importantly he has a lot to contribute to this Dallas Mavericks team so let me know what you guys think in the comments what he can really provide for the Mavericks because they're in need of anything they could get really somebody who could put up 15 a night is big for them somebody who could defend multiple positions is big for them somebody who will dive on the floor and get a loose ball those things are really valuable for the Dallas Fabrics. So let me know what you guys think about Dante Exum's story in general. It's definitely one of the more inspiring stories in the NBA this season. It's one of the better comeback stories that we've really seen. I think we're going to see a lot more of this going forward. Players leave the league. They come back in. They learn how to play. It's a long journey. These guys are 28 after spending 10 years playing basketball after getting drafted. That's ridiculous. So there's a long development ahead for all of these guys. And I think nobody should be judged when they're 18, 19, 20. Not everyone is meant to carry on the whole business of the NBA when they're 18 years old. Like LeBron James was handed the entire business of the league at the age of 20. And he's still carrying it at the age of 38. So it's just ridiculous. Some players are meant to have a little bit longer of a development, and that's the case here for Exum. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you on the next one.